Hey there, this is Dutch, and you're watching episode 15 of Developing a Minecraft World, and we've been griefed! I mean, good lord, what the heck happened here? I was just, um, yeah, playing, making some preparations for, uh, building the Ender Farm, and I came over here to get some birch wood, and I'm like, wait, what the heck? I have no freaking clue how this happened, I mean... It has to be some sort of a bug, but that's so weird. I've never uh, never opened this world up to uh, multiplayer or anything like that. So as you can see, we got a whole lot of birch wood. We're going to be using that for the Ender Farm. Um, but yeah, we have to fix this stuff. And while we do so, I have some things to talk about with you guys. Um, first and foremost. I haven't really posted any videos in the past week, which is ironic considering the fact that I kept mentioning how much time I was going to have during the winter break. Well, that turned out to be not true. Uh, God, that gives me a lot of damage. I don't have any feather falling. Um, yeah, that turned out to be not true because um, holidaying like the holidays, <laughs> that actually uh, took up a lot more of my time than I expected, and I have gotten ill again. Another cold, believe it or not, really annoying, uh, you may be able to hear it, I'm a bit stuffy still, uh, but yeah, that's been going on since Wednesday, and while well, Monday and Tuesday were of course New Year stuff, so yeah, pretty pretty crappy week, um, but you know the thing is that... Um, we need to get some regular wood. Thing is, though, I haven't really gotten any, like, complaints <laughs> about not having released any Company of Heroes videos. Um, which is kind of telling, because, you know, I only get, like, a couple of views on those videos. And I've mentioned this before, when I was doing the Borderlands Let's Play, that I don't really find it very worthwhile to do those videos if I don't get any views. And I know there's something in there of, you know, perseverance and stuff. And, uh, you know, if you keep at it, you will get more views. Um, but, you know, I would do that if I had fun making those videos, but I'm afraid I don't. Uh, you know, I quite enjoy making the Minecraft videos because, you know, whenever you... I swear, if I ended up in one of the holes... <laughs> You know, if you build something in Minecraft, uh, usually it's pretty bittersweet that, you know, you can't really show anyone that. Um, but when it comes to playing, like, other games, uh, like Borderlands, Company of Heroes, stuff like that, you don't really... Uh, personally, I don't really have that need to show other people, so, you know, the whole Let's Playing stuff, I mean, I enjoy watching Let's Plays. Um, not of every game, of course. Some games. Um, but I don't think that it's a very creatively inspiring medium, uh, you know, for a content producer. At least that's what I've been feeling, uh, because, you know, they're basically... I've already been... I've already felt this with two series. I mean, it's not really very inspiring. Okay, that fixes it. But, uh, yeah, I haven't really been getting very inspired by both my Borderlands 2 Let's Play and my... Company of Heroes Let's Play, and to be honest, I would rather play those games on my own than... Is that correct? Somehow that doesn't seem right to me, like it wasn't there before. Hmm. Oh well. Um. What was I saying? Oh yeah. Um, I would probably rather just play those games on my own without having to commentate over them and have to worry about uh, entertaining my viewers uh, that would you know that would make the games more fun for me um, so I'm probably gonna stop doing regular game let's plays for now because you know um, I get the feeling and you can comment on this actually I would I would love if you did. Um, yeah, I planted some pumpkins here. <laughs> anyway, I would love it if you did comment saying um, 
why you subscribe to my channel because I get the feeling that pretty much all of my subscribers have actually subscribed to me for my uh, like Minecraft content now if it turns out that there's actually more than one or two people who really like seeing the other stuff because uh, actually I can pull it up right now I think that some of my like Company of Heroes videos don't even have like one view. I think there was one a while back. Okay, so they seem to be in between two and five views. Like that's not a lot. Um, you know, I guess that would probably mean that there is two to five people who do enjoy watching those videos. But you know. Um, so yeah, I guess calling out to... What am I doing? <laughs> this is all my preparation for the Ender Farm, by the way. I've just been uh, collecting some stuff in my Ender Chest here. We're not going to be working on that today, because I don't have enough materials yet to uh, do that in one go. Uh, I'm looking for my hoe. There we go. But yeah, calling out to those few people who've actually watched the videos. Do you want me to continue them? Because, uh, especially with the... Did I just hurt that guy? I think I pushed him off. <laughs> but yeah, I get the I get the feeling that those videos aren't very entertaining. Um, you know the Black Mesa stuff? I kind of enjoyed doing that. Uh, I enjoyed the game and you know, in a first person shooter, in my opinion, it's more it's easier to just keep talking off the top of your head because all you're doing is just shooting at guys. And you know, the company of heroes, um, Especially considering the fact that I've never even played that game, uh, I'm way too busy determining what the hell I should be doing and stuff like that. And, you know, it's just me thinking out loud about the game, and I don't think that's very... I don't think that makes for a very good video. I don't really like how this gap at the top is bigger, at least I think it is. Yeah, it is. If we turn it around... Ah, oh, it's still not symmetrical. Damn it! Uh, I have OCD like that <laughs> about certain things, and I forgot to deposit those crops. Um. So yeah, I keep drifting off into different thoughts. <laughs> but yeah, post a comment about that. I'd say if you want me to continue that. And you know, if I'm if I decide that I'm going to stop making. Um, like the regular Let's Plays, then I will probably start playing on the uh, El Vega Feed the Beast server because, you know, I'm not traditionally very, um, I haven't been very excited about playing mods, but, you know, Feed the Beast seems pretty interesting to me, uh, especially considering the potential for making different mechanisms because, you know, I like redstoning um, quite a lot. But regular Minecraft can be a bit limiting, and uh, no, I have, I know I haven't really done a lot of redstone in this world, except for down in the uh, lab, the monster lab. But you know, that's basically because of time constraints. I haven't really, um, you know, if I could do this stuff full time, I'd probably get some pretty insane stuff done. But I simply don't have the time or the, uh, like, I don't always feel like playing Minecraft. It's a certain mindset that I need to get into. I'm not like those guys, uh, like DocM77 or... Uh, I don't know, I still have a bed on me that needs to go in here. Or some of those other guys who just, you know, prepare for hours on end just so they can make a video. I, I don't work like that. Uh, which is why I've been trying to keep a one video a week schedule, because that seems like a pretty good compromise. Uh, at least for this series, you know, the El Vegas stuff, I usually take a bit longer. Um, but yeah, <laughs> it would definitely help if I didn't have to concern myself with uh, playing other games. Because as it stands, I basically have to force myself to get up and record some Company of Heroes. And, you know, like I said, it's not very fun to me. Let's fill up this chest. Ooh, that's a bit too much. <laughs> Oh, I do love uh, the stuff in the new snapshot. We're going to be able to fully automate this kind of stuff. But let's not lose my train of thought again. Uh, let's put that hoe back. We don't really need it. Um, so yeah, I have to force myself right now, and that just doesn't do the trick for me. I don't want to keep going like that. So, God, I have a lot of coal. Um, yeah. 
Anyway, something different. Um, what? We should probably get something done. I've not I've just been walking around here. Okay, what can we do? Um, we could work a bit on the house, but I'm not really feeling it. Um, mm, let's see. I've been thinking, actually, of maybe making it a bit smaller. Do I have my axe yet? Um, because, you know, Minecraft's kind of weird like that. Uh, sometimes stuff that is pretty big can feel pretty small, you know? I mean, this house, it's not overly big, but I've been thinking, you know, I mean, if you walk in here, this is a pretty big ground floor. I mean, you'd probably have, like, a little hallway here, and then this would be, like, a kitchen area, and then you have this huge freaking living room, and you're never going to be able to fill it up. Because, you know, uh, in vanilla Minecraft, there's a lot less of that, um, like, finicky detail stuff, which you can use to really fill a room. So this house is probably going to be too big uh, for the purpose that it serves. So I'm probably going to make it a bit smaller. Uh, mostly that back area over there. That's overkill. So I guess we can just work on that. Kind of just remove this. <laughs> kind of sucks because I did put some work on it, but uh, I think I'm just going to do that right now. Um, hmm. And then I guess we can get the outline for the barn fixed. Uh, I've been looking into some uh, like designs for the Enderman farm. Uh, I think I'm probably going to base it off of uh, Panda's design with the tripwires. Uh, but I'm going to make it slightly different, though. Um, there's, like, some things that make... I should probably it's kind of be a bit abstract if I start talking about it right now. But, um, actually, I think I can demonstrate it real quick. Let's, let's hop on over. Let's just go from one thing to the other. I don't care. Um, let's head over to our ender chest, and I can get some pistons and show you guys. Alright, so, let's do this. We get a sticky piston, and this, and we're going to need a glass block. Do I have any? Wait, didn't I cook up some glass? Now, ah, here we go. Um, Alright, so, let's get my silk touch, then we'll lose that glass. Uh, let's go over here. Outside. I didn't get a torch. <laughs> or a lever. I'll get the lever. I think I still had one. In here, yeah. There we go. Okay, so one of the things that tends to happen with these uh, farms is... Let's get a block. Okay, so uh, Panda's design uses these regular pistons. Uh, you know, that's all fine and dandy, but sometimes when they push, like this, you see that? I It kind of lagged, but it ended me up inside the piston arm. And that can happen to the Enderman, and they'll get stuck in there. And considering that we're going to be using... Um, we're going to be using a tripwire, so once an Enderman is on, like, a strip, you know, you're going to have, like this strip, and against all of these dirt blocks would be pistons, and then there would be like a trip wire uh, somewhere above here, so, you know, once an enderman would spawn here, then the trip wire would trigger, and that would trigger all the pistons in the row. Um, so, as soon as one enderman gets stuck inside one of these piston arms, uh, the entire row is going to be non-spawning, because all those pistons will be extended. And, you know, that will fix itself, because the Enderman will eventually despawn, but that would uh, prevent the thing from being very um, efficient. Now, what I like to do is do this instead, where you have a, uh, a piston with a block. In this case, a glass block. Uh, I don't think... It doesn't need to be glass. Um, I've used glass before in my... Uh, like the blaze farm on the cowcraft server because there was actually a real threat of them suffocating but as you can see this is perfectly smooth it doesn't allow for any 
glitching inside the block or anything like that, yeah, the Enderman wouldn't be able to suffocate, so that's not really a problem. Um, so yeah, as you can see, you'll always get pushed, and I think even if we do it, like, at head level, it should be fine. Does that work? Yeah. I don't think it's possible to get glitched into the block. So, I have seen some problems where, like, the piston will get a one-tick pulse and the blocks will, um, <coughs> how do you say it, um, yeah, they will prevent other endermen from spawning, but I don't think that can happen in single player, though. I think that is a multiplayer bug, but don't quote me on that. We'll have to see, but I haven't seen it happen. I've been doing some testing in uh, Creative World. So it should be fine. That should give us uh, good spawning rates. So that's basically the idea. Um, I'll show you guys my finished design probably before we start building it. I can just show you guys in the creative world and freaking Enderman taking my blocks. Annoying. Um, but yeah, that's basically the just some thinking I've been doing. Let's go to sleep real quick. Can we make it? Nope. Damn it. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to show you guys that. And then we can get back to working on the house. Uh-huh. Ah, Alright. Let's get at it. Let's get at it. Let's skedaddle. Nah, whatever. I can keep that in my inventory. Does it matter? Let's actually just use these ender pearls to get over there. That's pretty sweet. I can actually get some ender pearls now, especially once we get the... What? <laughs> that was a right trick shot. I <laughs> must have shot it through this window. Oh, that's pretty epic. I do really like how this area looks. I don't really like how the animals tend to, like, congregate in this one corner, though. <laughs> I'd like it if they'd spread out a bit more. Hmm. I guess we should just probably put some more grass in here. Did they eat the grass? Was there tall grass in here? I don't remember. Oh, well, it doesn't matter. Let's continue getting rid of this stuff. Jesus. Oh, he has an enchanted bow. Aha! Oh, I one-shot at him. Aha! Ah, I didn't drop it. We don't really need it anyway. We have a good bow already. Power 4. Ha. Power 4 flame 1. No punch, though. I think I mentioned this before, but <laughs> punch is actually useful on bows, as opposed to knockback on swords, which is annoying. I think I talked about that last time. I may have. I don't know. Um, yeah, once we get the Ender Farm up and running, we're going to be able to mass enchant books, considering that we have a pretty good cow and wheat farm or farming capability. Uh, let's get on top of there. It's my Ender Pearls. Mm. Do I have a walkway? No. Okay. Let's do this. Uh, this might fail. It probably will. Yup. Damn it. <laughs> I hate how the throwing is kind of random. Like it doesn't always go straight. Okay, I think that's a hit. Yup. Sweet. Now I just get rid of this stuff. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm just, uh, oh, don't want to fall off, <laughs> listening to my sister and my mother talking. They just came back from their holiday, uh, like, yesterday, and <laughs> basically, I was pretty annoyed that uh, our cat, he was being real, oh god, our cat was being a real annoyance uh, during their holiday, you know, because I had to watch the cat. And the bloody cat kept annoying me by crawling up to my desk and stuff. And you guys should probably know I'm not an animal person. Uh, you know, I mean, <laughs> I don't care uh, if you don't like that. What am I saying? I should just shut up. I don't know what I'm saying. But uh, yeah, I'm not really an animal person. So I didn't really like that. Uh, that I don't even know how I got there, like, oh yeah, my, my mother and sister were talking about the cat. 
Right, well, I'm being very weird. That's okay, though. I think you're used to that. Um, let's keep it at this. It's not going to be a very interesting shape, but I'm not really too concerned with that. Um, let's put a wall in. Ah, oh, that's wrong. <coughs> Blech. Do I have any logs? I think I do. I must have. I do. I remove them. I cannot talk. Yay. Hooray. Okay, now we have a very plain house. But that's alright. I don't really mind. Hmm. Yeah, we really need to do some more work on this. Uh, I wanted to get this patio uh, fixed. I don't really like how this looks. Like, it's not... My inventory is a mess. Uh, so I'm probably gonna do it like this. Ah, that looks better. Somewhat, anyway. I don't really know... Ah, that's better. Lots better, actually. More than I anticipated. Oh, broke the grass. Don't want to do that. It looks so lovely! Oh, grass. Uh, right. Do I have any? Yeah, I have enough. More than enough. Wow. Okay, awesome. Um, do I have some fences? Okay, we're just gonna get the patio fixed, and then we're gonna call it a day. I think. Don't have any fences. Hmm. We can make some. No biggie. And one. That's wrong. <laughs> Don't mind me. I'm just a derp. Okay, so we go one higher. Derp. A derp. Derp. No, that's wrong. Rock. Damn it. <laughs> Place the damn fence, you fool. There we go. Uh. How are we going to get this to connect? Let's make some slabby, slabby wabby, slabby wabby. We will need some slabby wabby, slab, slab, slab. Oh god, that reminded me of Jimmy Neutron. Is that how you, yeah, Neutron. <laughs> Bolby! I don't even know what he sounds like in the English version, but at least, I think the English, no, that, that was a fluke. One time, um, uh, like, the Nickelodeon channel here in the Netherlands, it was kind of buggy sometimes. So there was this one time when they accidentally aired the English version of Jimmy Neutron. Uh, it was usually just the Dutch dub. Okay, let's see. Um, we're probably going to want a little overhang here, to be honest. Mm, that would probably look better. Let's see. Like this. And then... Hmm. I think we're not even going to be able to use stairs for this. Um, the windows are going to be up at this height, so I want the... Well... Hmm. Eh, eh, that, 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 that might work. Uh, I don't know. Let's get rid of this. Uh... I want a top slab. Come on. There we go. Um, let's get another one. No, damn it. Fail. Oh wait, we have more slabs. Yay. How does that look from a distance? Let's get rid of this stuff. Oh, I don't have my shovel. Uh, I do have a shovel on me, but whatever. Hmm. We need to get a look from a distance. That corner might need to be different though, but uh... Villagers, be quiet! Eh, that's... not bad, I guess. Don't know about the overhang though. Hmm... Let's make some more slabs and get this all done. Uh, we can remove that. 
Actually, I think that'll be pretty good. Um, let's try... Just do it like this. Uh, let's make some more stairs and slabs. We can get this knocked in pretty quickly. I'll just do the front. Uh, I won't worry about the side. Uh, let's get some more slabs. And a bunch of stairs. There we go. Like so. I think that'll be enough for now. For the biggest part, anyway. Let's get these stairs knocked in. Amazing! Mm, that corner might be tricky. Oh, well. We'll figure something out, I think. I figure think. I think in figures. No, I don't. I think in words. It's actually something... I think... How do I how do I get these things? <laughs> but that's actually uh, a distinction. I think I'm not sure about that though. But um, I think that some people I I heard that somewhere that like some people think in more in images and other people think more in words. I'm definitely a word thinker myself. Uh, that's not to say that I cannot think about or in or of whatever uh, images, but yeah, um, actually, <laughs> I don't know. What do you think? What do you what do you guys think about that? Are you a word thinker or an image thinker? Like mainly, you know, I, I'm, I'm, I don't think that there are many people who would exclusively think in either images or words because that would be weird because you can't express everything in one or the other. Um, hmm. That's pretty good, but it looks kind of plain. Mm. Maybe we should get some sort of a color trim. Hmm. I don't know, guys. I don't know. Um, what would look good here? Maybe some dark wood slabs. Spruce wood. Maybe some spruce on the edges. Let's try that. Lamo. It's getting dark. Damn it. <laughs> now we won't be able to see it properly. That's annoying. Let's uh, place one of these so we don't have to go this crazy maneuvering around like this. I think that, yeah, that's definitely better, I can tell already. Uh, might be a bit too much dark or spruce wood, though. Uh, that's actually something you need to be wary of, not using too many different kinds of blocks in your building um, as your main building blocks. Because we already have these logs, these logs, birch wood, regular wood, brick. It may be a bit too much already, but yeah, that's definitely better. Uh, and we could just replace this edge over here with the dark wood as well. Um, let's go to sleep and do that real quick, and then we'll call it an episode. Bit of a uh, more laid-back episode this week. But, you know, we, we killed a freaking dragon last time. I mean, come on. <laughs> Sleepy time. Uh, I have to say, though, it was, it, was a, it's, it was a weird fight. I was going to say disappointing, but it was mostly weird. I got a comment saying that I was overprepared, and I I disagreed with him because you know I did die. Um, but yeah, let's see. Oh, I still have a spruce stair. What do you know? Okay, we get that. Can we get that? Yeah. Blam! I think that's pretty sexy. Oh yeah, that looks pretty good. Better than, oh my god, there's a creeper. On my porch. Get off my porch! Get off my lawn! Bloody creepers. <laughs> yeah, that's a lot better, I think. Yeah, still not... Yeah, well, <laughs> it'll do. I'm not gonna complain any longer. Um, yeah, we're probably gonna have to make a bit more changes on this, but... um. I'm going to try to see if I can gather the necessary materials for the Ender Farm for next episode so we can work on that. Uh, I won't make any promises, though, because, you know, university stuff this week. And I'm going to be 
pretty busy. Exams are coming up. Um, so yeah, we'll have to see about that. Uh, but you know, we'll just have to wait and see. Haha. <laughs> Alright. Um, have a nice day. I'll see you guys next time.